TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. We will need this. It'd be some crazy stuff going on in this show, man. We we'll definitely need this. Um, so look at it. And don't forget, we are on Twitch, like I just said. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. That's where you can catch a live, previous live, or any any live or future lives. Dang, I forgot this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, man, we also got Patreon where we post five days per week. And if we miss a day, we make it up on the weekend. Simple as that, man. Let's get into this, though, man. This is <sighs> Bouncers. This is Season 1, Episode 2, man. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. We already know we got It's the biggest party in Manchester. Gay Pride brings to... Shout out to the community, man. Uh, okay. Let's buckle up here. I'm buckled. Together the flamboyant, the beautiful, and the bizarre for a carnival of freedom and excess. But as darkness falls, the real partying begins. And after a day of high spirits, the casualties are already mounting up. And for the staff at Manto Bar, it's their busiest and most interesting night of the year. Manto is my life. I love Manto. I'm a Manto girl after all, you know. Do I look like one, huh? You tell me. Thank you. Well, they probably see you Nobody even replied. Oh, all right. This is Jason Harry. He's a wild episode, man. I can already pre it, man. The head doorman at Manto Bar. He's 34 and he's been on the door for 13 years. And Jason's job isn't just security. He's the new Oprah as well, mending broken hearts on the door. So, so what happened then? What, what, what did he ring you up for? Did he just no, text you? Internet. What the internet dumped you? Yeah. Oh dear, that's not very good to say. That's harsh because he said I'm seeming than Gallagher now. Yeah. And I said, is he sexier than me? And he said, I can't answer. That. Welcome to the dorm and dropping clinic, isn't it? Really? What? Don't you think? Oh, he's just pouring his heart out, isn't he? He's uh, been dumped over the internet, and uh, you get that people just like chatting to you and tell you what's going on. I enjoy that. It's quite a bit of fun. Yeah, he leads just for these. It's like an agony uncle and a doorman at the same time. That's exactly what he is. But in the spirit of the festivities, Jason's first client soon forgets his heartbreak. Yeah. My chest is the best! Come on! Wow, are they ever going to come up for air? Go for it! At last, a breather. Oops, I was wrong. Oh, why don't we... They're at it again. Alright, we'll have yours. <laughs> Somebody was like, oh, hurry up and watch episode two. And I'm like, I mean, alright. You know, what's the rush? But this see you this what you was doing. Salute to the community though. But at the same time, golly, this is just It's only 40 40- see all day. What was it last? It's this month, right? Pride Month. Also, it's Men's Mental Health Awareness Month as well. If we've also forgot, continue. Miles to the Frontier Club in Batley, but it might as well be a million miles from Mardi Gras because they've got bigger problems than dealing with dumb blokes. They're on a crusade to rid the club of drugs. They make random searches, and this guy is clean. 
Oh, there you are, my friend. Put that back in your pocket. Thank you very much for your help. This is Ian Campbell. He's the door supervisor at the Frontier. He's 37 and he's been on the doors for 15 years. The policy that we've got on the Frontier... Hold on, man. I gotta read these comments because... I gotta read the chat. Like, this is insane. Yeah, is is zero tolerance. We won't we won't condone anyone bringing any sort of illegal substance into the club or using any illegal substance in the club, and we do our damnedest to stop it before it starts. Ian and his team randomly search another clubber, and he's he got not it happy about it. This man has no drugs on him, but Ian's not happy with the cut of his jib. No, not tonight, my friend. All right, your attitude has let you down, my friend. That's messed up. Y'all could have let bro and he wasn't happy with being searched. There's nothing wrong with that. Say my name, say my name. When no one is around you, say baby, I love you. Let's let's take a alright. Gay Pride in Manchester, the party's rocking out big time. But for Jason... Don't... You are not Beyonce. You can be a part of the beehive, but... Some things are getting a little overblown. <laughs> See now. Watch if the police come now that I'm so funny that I'm getting caught in here. That's a lewd act, isn't it? Right there? This couple are going for it, but it's not long before the street-side sauciness is brought to an end by the police. She was full-blown. She's in white pants, ma'am. I know, they've sort of come down here. Perhaps they're trying to be a bit outrageous themselves, or trying to a bit of attention. It's their way of doing it, but was anyone bothered? No. And that's just a taste of the craziness and excess at the gay Mardi Gras. Everywhere in the village, people are going for it big style. We're not going to stop drinking until we piss ourselves. <laughs> 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 Let me get my phone ready to write down where I gotta edit stuff out. Cause th th that was edited, but it's not edited enough. <laughs> it ain't edited enough. You know what I'm saying? So let me get to delete, delete all of this, please. What was that? Seven minutes? Let's go five minute. Well, five minutes and seven minutes. Cause I did see a cheek. You know what I'm saying? Five men, seven men. All right. Fair enough. Frontier Club in Batley, the locals are giving it some on the dance floor. As they get down, Ian is on the scouts for people using... I am the greatest editor on the platform, so it's okay. ...drugs. Okay, folks. While the lads on the door keep their eyes peeled too. Well, this is Andrew Lawton, a.k.a. Bungie. He's the head doorman at the Frontier. He's 39, with 20 years on the door. It's illegal to bring control substance onto licensed premises. And that's it, whether it be cannabis, whether it be ecstasy, uh, cocaine, PCP, um, the hard part is catching them with it. Uh, a lot of people with uh, coke and things like tablets take it while they're in the queue. So it doesn't affect them until they're paid in. 
and then uh, we've already gone in, and then it gets into them, and they've got a couple of drinks 20 minutes later. Drugs have always been a clubland constant, but for Dorman, they could be a headache. With the drinking narcotics, what's going around today, obviously the moods are going to change. Obviously with the drugs... The club don't even care no more. It's coming to it, it changes twice as quick as what it does just with alcohol. I think drugs do harm to people. Uh, I've never been into drugs, I don't like them, I don't like what they do, what they stand for. It's part of society, you've got to accept that they are there. But I have zero tolerance with drugs, I don't like them. When people have took um, different kinds of drugs, 90% of the time, again, all they want to do is put their arms around you. True, my bad. True. All they want to do is put your arms around you, talk about their deepest emotional feeling, like you Dr. Feel or something. I've never been kissed by as many fellas. Uh, I've never had my legs shagged as much because all they want to do is get up close to you. They want to be your friend. They want to shake your hand and they just want to stand there gibbering and jibbering and having your ache for the rest of the night. In Batley, it's only 11 o'clock, but already the drug team's suspicions are aroused. Well, are y'all searching them because how they dressed? If drugs are found, it's the club's policy to confiscate them, hand them over to the police, and bar the clubber for life. For life? Just like your friends, you will not be coming in this club ever again. Count your lucky stars and we've not called the police tonight after the stunt you tried to pull with us. Just remember, we're not stupid and we have got eyes, alright? There's the door. But the lads... First and foremost, security has no power. If they tell me, hey, come over here real quick, let me talk to you, let me search you, and I know i got something on me that I'm not supposed to have, I'm leaving. You can't make me stay here and search me. Who are you? <laughs> Um, I'm a, uh, nah, have a good night. I'll see y'all later. Simple. Aren't finished yet. They've had their drugs confiscated and now they want them back. I'm a good demon, mate. He's committed a criminal offense. Personal, yeah. It's like to smoke to your own home. Not brought out to public, not brought to life. Because you found it, because they're not getting in the club, because the mates have got in, because they've been searched and they're embarrassed or whatever, then they start be, trying to become this Mr. Big Man and they start be, becoming either verbally aggressive or physically aggressive purely because they've been caught out and they don't like that. They won't see sense, so the team has to resort to a bit of physical persuasion. Said they were going to rip police, they wanted the drugs back. Fine. I don't even think that was necessary. Let's be real. As soon as police turned up, they did one. Straight up a fence, up road and away. I thought, ah, oh, yeah, you're going to ask them for your drugs back. Excuse me, sir, can I have your drugs back, please? Back at Mardi Gras, Jason has his hands full on the door. See you now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. You can't say drinks out now, I'm afraid. You have to leave that inside, yeah? Yeah, yeah. See you guys. Best bouncer there ever is. <laughs> Seriously, knows how to <laughs> real mouth. <laughs> Good time and bad time. Take it easy, guys. Yeah. 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 Bye -bye. But for everyone else, this is the party of their lives and they're loving it. Find her away. She's resorted to batteries. Get her away. I, I don't have much to say. I'm just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get your hands off my woman. Yeah. She's fucking my Let's keep it in the round. And here I am thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Thinking what I, oh, y'all feel like fight over his girl? That's so, that's valiant. Not alcoholic. Don't get many of those in a fucking pound, do you? <laughs> do I care? Guys, guys, coming up. On club doors across the country, bouncers patrol the nighttime excesses of club life. At Manchester's Gay Village, it's no different as the annual Mardi Gras festival. There's a village? Manchester got a village?
Is there a village? At Manchester's gay village, it's not. Chicago got one too, but I'm, I didn't know Manchester had one. I'm in. No different, as the annual Mardi Gras festival is well underway. The event's been going since lunchtime, and the atmosphere is changing as party fatigue takes its toll. Why, why can't oh, you go in? Guys, it's how the uh, conditions come no, in. No, he's the regular. Get it, guys. Why, why come back in? another night. You what do you mean, forget in. it? I'm yeah. not finishing until it's discussed. Yeah. You're not coming okay. in. We had an incident involving three guys. Once a bouncer says no, it's done. Guys that are, are regulars to, to the bar, and while they, they might be uh, quite highly strung, all the time I've been there, they've never created any problems. But on this occasion, one of them wasn't fit enough really to come into the venue. I'm not even okay, started. Just listen to me. I'm not even started. I'll let you talk in a second, right? And can you let me talk? In fact, can I'm you let me talk? I'm supposed to be bad from here anyway. Listen, you're not bad at the moment. But why are you bad? You're not bad. No you're not bad. But he said I am bad. Just chill. Hi. No. <laughs> you guys are too dramatic. That's why right. they let me in and not you. Why would you dramatic? Guess what's going to happen to Montreal? I'm going in and I'll bet Guess what's going to happen to Montreal? Well, you can't threaten the venue. Just Can I not? Can I not? Why do you want to do that? Can I not? Yeah, why Can, I not? Can I not? Can I not? Can I not? You, you, that to you missed the spot back here. Sometimes, yeah, it's not gonna happen. I don't care. I don't care. Do I care? Do I care? Do I care? You're gonna have to leave now. Don't touch me. I'm not leaving. Don't touch me. I'm not letting anywhere. I ain't going anywhere. I ain't going anywhere. No, 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 what am I looking at? Oh yeah, all you fucking care about is getting fucking penny fucking nice. Those three are always like that, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a cat fight. They're always the same like that, aren't they? Into one another. <laughs> it, it's hard, really. It's trying to be reasonable with people that aren't really reasonable. So you, you can, if you're not careful, get, get caught up in their nonsense. Bye. 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 Right. Across the Pennines at the Frontier nightclub. Oh my God! Okay. In Batley, it's only just past midnight, and the place is rammed with party-mad punters. But some people have already had too much. Why? We've got one too many, our kid. Yeah, that man is slotted. <laughs> You had one too many. You've had a good night. He's <laughs> after an hour because he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> don't stand. They don't stand for this drunkenness, especially like people like him. You're, not You're drunk. You Whatever. Did I get thrown out? Yeah. I don't think so. Fuck off, dickhead. Does they are? It's not a problem. They're not bad. They're not. He wants some too. Excluded for any length of time. It's just a case of get yourself off tonight. You've had enough. Come back. We'll see you tomorrow. Simple yeah, as. Had enough. No, we just don't let people back in. Once they've done that, they stay out for the night. They're not bad because obviously they've drunk our drink, which might have made them sick. So we can't buy from somebody for that. So it's just a case of get yourselves off home and we'll see you tomorrow night. You can never get into the front seat of a taxi. When we had taxis in Chicago, when they were abundant, they are not anymore, but there's still some. But you can't get in that front seat. At Manto Bar in Manchester, the punters are larging it inside. But outside, the two guys refused entry are still... They still at it? It's done. Still unhappy about not getting in. It's just a classic example of instant escalating there. Not doing any part down to the door. That's that leftover testosterone. Still got it. I mean, the way they interacted with them, it was just their, their own makeup, the way of doing kicking the signs down. And ultimately, then as they left and went around the corner, they had some sort of involvement with their police, and it's gone wrong, and, and they were arrested. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Excuse me. 
It's a tough situation for the few police on hand, so Jason jumps in. Give me your other hand, put it round your back. Matt, don't do it. If there's an incident and the police are around and they're struggling, we will go to assist them. I mean, we don't take direction from them and they seem quite happy for us to help them to restrain it because ultimately if they broke through and got involved in an incident there on a personal basis, they just really want to act back. This has got to be the rookie cop shift. Everybody look like a rookie here. And then. Oh, oh my fuck God. you bitch! Kiss my mouth! You are a racist bitch! You are a racist shit! You hate black people! And I tell you what, I'm not gonna fucking stand for your shit! All we were trying. I don't feel like they did anything that wrong. They obviously, their, their, dis their discretion was correct. Look how obliterated you are. You are out of your character right now. You are out of your body right now. You are making a public spectacle of yourself. And now you kicked out. They made the right choice. And to do it at, at that point was just to assist them to sort of get more control of the situation where you saw Ollie working to restrain the guy so they could cuff him, me literally holding the guy to the wall and then working with the other police officer until the backup came. Don't my best, you bitch. <laughs> Bro, <it's good. laughs> Take his do rag off. Will you calm down? Keep still. You keep yourself still. You understand me? But in the end, he's got his own job to do. As soon as we were there, really, we're out of the situation, we took ourselves out, get back to managing this place. Because ultimately, there may have been people involved in that incident round there that made them want to come in a club. And all we decided to do for five or ten minutes was just, you know, just be very selective. About 38 minutes. Okay, you've got like four minutes left. Who we let in. When emotions are running, adrenaline's running it with people like that, you know, it can spill over into another situation, so you just got to let it all calm down and go away, really. Most people are fine when they're on a night out, but some take it to excess, and the old guard had their own way of sorting it. You've always got that 0.1% who's took narcotics or they've had too much to drink and there's no other way but to use as much violence as, as, as you possibly can use within the law. What is it not you just... There's no violence you can use within the law. If you slap somebody, it's assault. <laughs> Lost all your energy after they... So you just mean restrain people as you possibly can use within the law. By the end of the night, you just lost all your energy after dealing with 20, 30, 40 people all trying to get in. Come on, mate, come on, mate, come on, mate. Or I'll fucking kill you, I'll do this to you, I'll do that to you. Get it all the time. They're going on and on and on, and it's really bad at the end of the night. They're just in your lug and you just... So I, I used to give them a little bit of an inch, and, and then I just say, oh, that's enough. So I'd either walk away I just fucking pick them up and fling them out the doors and say, fuck off, come back in, you get knocked out. Simple as that. Bit drunk. In Batley, the effects of a long night boozing don't need the police. Just patience and a sense of humour. All right, fella. Must be a good shot, he's weed on his shoulder. He must have taken Viagra too early and gone for this. <laughs> Adam's been kicked out for falling asleep on the dance floor. My fell asleep on a dance floor like like while standing up he's a bit drunk and he dragged me and put me on the floor so they threw me out i'm not drunk well i am drunk i'm a bit drunk but not as drunk as what i normally am when i'm in there you can't come back in you can't come back in fella you've had plenty i'm all right mate yeah you're saying that but you... swear down man i've only had about fucking eight pints only eight pints of fun. only eight pints we need a bit of practice no. then, love, I'll tell you. Carthbird. No, you sound well. I'm sorry, well, get some air on, mate. There's no reason for that. What's the point? No point at all. Just go home. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just head to the crib, man.
Yes, man. No, love. You're pissed. Come on, I'm alright. Yeah, love. Go and sit yourself down. I'm getting taxi and go home. No, I don't want to go in the taxi. Don't you want to go home? No. You want to go into back into there? Yeah, I want to go and see my cousin because he's been a prick and he's hit me. And he's put me on the floor, yeah? You were caught on the floor, mate. No, I'm I'm one. I fell over. You're pissed. Oh. Bro was on the dance floor, like literally sleep. Oh no, I fell over, that's all he did. He threw me over, I couldn't get back up, so I said help me back up. But I'm alright now, I swear down. No mate, you're not. Why are Should I say you're not? Who is Richie Horsley? My mate Dave said that I'm alright. Who's your mate Dave? He's in there, somewhere. Who is he? Exactly. Right. Sit on board and have 10 right. minutes. The effects of excess are the same no matter where you are, and for Jason at Mantos, the fun of the festival is ebbing away. A group have fallen out inside, and confusion reigns in the street. Two guys coming out the other side over there. I know that really sounds stupid, but I'm just looking there. There's been some trouble inside at the bar between the other two chaps. But what we're, what we're best to do is something like that. You've not got the full picture, the full story of what's going on. Just move the whole lot out. Soon a picture emerges. So she was, she was with us. It's just like... There's been some trouble with some of the people involved before, so the bar. <laughs> You know what? Never fucking come near me ever again. You're a fucking bitch. Why am I involved? Why is she treating us like this? Because I'm his boy. She came next to you. Why am I involved? Because you don't even speak to me because I'm Why fucking not you out. Go you away. But no one is taking the blame, so the chaos returns. So why is yeah, 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 yeah. Why is he shit himself? Can you fucking yeah. Yeah. Call the police. Call the fucking police. Will they call the police? No. No. That man knocked over a tall chair, back <laughs> a chair. Buddy, buddy, buddy that just did that to him wouldn't do nothing but defending her honor. Not minding his business. But you know. Get away from my boyfriend. Dealish. Get away from my boyfriend. Get away from my boyfriend. The fight has been the final straw in a very long day for everyone, especially Jason. <laughs> they just played the last record now, aren't they? So they're all having a, a last boogie. They all know it's like four. That's pretty negative. Not gonna lie. I mean, you know. Four o'clock, so it's five past now, so. Brody is out of it. They stopping everybody randomly, but he is clearly off that tablet. <laughs> Chris, should we forget drinking upside tonight? Just get rid of him. Yeah, I'll yeah. <laughs> You're gonna shoot him out? No, we're finished now, fella. Next time on Bouncers. Uh -uh. Stop there before we see any more things that we need to edit out. Um, this was essentially one of the craziest things I've ever watched because of a lot of reasons. Matia, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.